Are you looking for an electronic solution to your street or race car? We have a solution for you. Stay tuned. Blood Brothers Racing here to talk about Autorod Corporation's flat touch control panel product line. This product series is a perfect fit for enthusiasts and competitive race teams alike. Stick around while we show you what's in the box, different options available, how to wire a circuit, and how to set up this product for your vehicle. Let's see exactly how you're going to receive your product from Autorod Corporation. What we have here is a model 8000R and that is going to be an eight circuit relay board with a flat touch panel control. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in the box. All right. All right, the first thing we're gonna to come to is a very well packaged box. Got lots of bubble wrap to make sure your product gets to you safe. Mm -hmm. The first thing we're gonna pull out is going to be the control panel and we will talk about all these products individually here in just a couple minutes. Next thing we come to is the new and improved cabling. This goes from the switch panel to the relay board. One wire, really great product. Next thing we pull out is the relay board itself. Let's get it unpackaged. That is beautiful. A very nice looking board and very rugged and nicely built. A nice wiring harness to wire everything up. Also some zip ties and some electronical mounts. And then, one of my favorite parts, all the stickers to label your switch panel. And your relay board, so you can, for easier diagnosis later in the future. If you Absolutely. Need. Let's go ahead and talk about each component individually so we give you a better idea of which options are available and what each item does. Here is the brains of the operation. The standard relay board can be ordered with 4, 8, or 12 relay configurations. The size of the relay board corresponds to the number of switches. The deciding factor is how many circuits you would like to control. A 4 relay board would be a good choice for a street driven hot rod or an auxiliary control board for a factory wired car. The 8 relay board is a perfect choice for a standalone electrical control system for a street driver or a race car. And lastly, the Big Dog 12 Circuit Relay Board will cover the needs of even the most power hungry vehicles. This rugged flat touch control panel comes with many options right out of the box and some extra features that you can even upgrade. Available in roll bar or dash mount versions, these switch panels offer different overlay styles such as white and black. The outlines on the black faceplate even glow in the dark. The units can be cased in black or carbon fiber dip also. The control panel has an easy one wire installation, user configurable master switch, user configurable labels and on off configurations. We will cover the basic installation later. The control panel has some upgradable features at the time of purchase, such as the emergency kill switch that shuts off any and all switches on the panel with just one push. Also available are the super bright indicator lights. As every cutting edge company does, ARC has developed a new round one wire cable that comes in every new purchase. This is the only wire that is needed to connect the relay board to the control board. This new tough cable can be mounted along your roll bar, under the dash, or even under the carpet. It is small, flexible, and resistant to damage. It can also be purchased separately to upgrade your existing system from the ribbon cable. Let's go over how easy it is to install one of these flat panel systems in your vehicle. I personally like to use an oversized board, maybe not this big, to install the relay board so I have room to install some custom uh, MSD boxes, maybe a timer or two for you race car folks. You don't have to though. You could actually install this directly to your firewall or to your trunk. 
Just make sure if you do that to use some kind of rubber or plastic isolators under the board to protect it from vibrations. ARC also offers custom aluminum panels for your installation needs. If it's something you're interested in, make sure you give them a holler. With the ARC system, there's only three wires that you need to have installed to make it operational. The first being your main power wire, this big guy right here. It goes directly to the battery, but I recommend you use a maxi fuse or large fuse to protect this wire in case it was just short. Next is the ground wire. It goes right off this lug that says GND, and it goes straight to a chassis ground. ARC needs that for the board to operate. And lastly is just the one wire from the relay board at the bottom and the switch panel at the top. With just those three wires, your ARC relay board is fully operational. Let's go ahead and show you how to wire a single simple circuit and demonstrate exactly how to use the dip switches on the control panel. The first thing you need to do is obviously identify the circuit, run the wire to the control panel. In this example, again, we're using the starter. So I've ran my wire and brought it to where I need it. I need to find my hook terminal, strip the wire, put the wire on the terminal, and crimp. Just like that. Now all we have to do is loosen the terminal, put the hook connector in, and tighten it down. Be sure you get the hook terminal between the retainer and the face of this. It makes it for a secure connection. Once you've done that, you've installed your first circuit. For you 16 volt guys, be sure to change this jumper wire from this 12 volt down to the 16 volt selection. All you have to do is loosen these two screws, slide the jumper down, and tighten them up down here. I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of these circuits, and then we'll get into how to use the dip switches from momentary and master switches on the flat panel touch control. So I went ahead and populated all the circuits so we could talk about them and make it a little bit visually pleasing. But really, just for a naturally aspirated motor, you just need three, starter, ignition, and fuel. So that's the ones we're gonna talk about right now. The first circuit, which we just showed you, was installed on the starter. And it is already predetermined to be a momentary switch. As you can see, only while you press the button is the starter activated. Next, we have the ignition, and when you turn it on, it stays on, as well as the fuel. All that can be pre-configured to either be momentary or kill switch with the dip switches on the side. Let's go ahead and talk about those real quick. Configuring this flat panel switch system to your vehicle is very simple. You have two options to choose from, and all you need is a little pick or a flathead screwdriver. From the factory, number one is already in momentary switch. And what that means is it's non-latching. If you press the button, it will not stay on. It will only be active while you're pressing the on of the panel. If you'd like to add another circuit that you want a momentary switch on, as an example, a purge in a nitrous system, it's as simple as finding the circuit that you want to change, which is number eight for us, and flipping that toggle to the on position. Now, the number eight will be a momentary switch. Your next set of dip switches is the master. What that does is anything in the on position will automatically be turned off whenever you turn off the ignition, the number two circuit. As of right now, none of ours are turned on. But if, for instance, we wanted to make sure that the fuel pump turned off with the ignition, we would toggle that to the on position. On this circuit, the fuel pump is the number three. So we'll count down to three, and we'll turn it to the on position. Now, when the ignition is on and the fuel is on, if we turn the ignition off, both the ignition and the fuel pump turn off simultaneously. This flat panel is now configured for our vehicle that has nitrous. The ignition and fuel and starter switch all function appropriately. When the fuel is on and we hit the off of the ignition, both turn off simultaneously, as well as the purge is a momentary switch. If you would like any of these other circuits to be a 
kill on ignition, it's as simple as changing the dip switch on the side to the on position. We hope this video has been helpful for you to understand all the features and options that are available for the flat panel control series from Auto Rod Corporation. Taking it from some guys that actually use this product in their own race cars, we are sure you're gonna be glad you made this purchase.